I'm a national athlete. I'm an Olympian athlete. I've been training every single day for a whole heap of years just to make Jamaica win. Um, it's no difference what I'm doing right now. It's just that was a chuck and this is a feel. It's the same thing I'm doing. I'm training every day, seeing where to make Jamaica win in the field of agriculture, not check and feel. It's just the only difference. That's the way I see, I see the situation. Yes. So I'm, I'm championing for Jamaica. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to change the image of agriculture. I'm trying to, 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 to change the narrative of agriculture. I'm trying to make agriculture look different, modern, and sexy. See that? See, this is how I work, you know? This is how I come and work. Can I get dirty? First, we're facing drought. So, um, this is a kind of farm, you know, use way less water. Okay. Like, can we recycle the water, reuse the water. You use it, you, you, um, the fact that um, water is one of the biggest issues when it comes to um, farming. And you get to recycle back all of, almost all of the water to use. Magnificent. So, okay. so you do it won't affect you. Definitely. As you relate to hurricane, you can easily um, hurricane never damage the system that much because the bridge can pass through. Okay. Easily. So it's designed in it's such designed, a way. Yeah. To and allow. then, and then, then um, it's basically plumbing. You, know? you can take it, take it down and put it back. Take down this farm and work part time, put it back. This is a research center. When I start building a farm yet. Okay, okay. Yes, this is to find the um, the answers to um, the challenges that we're facing in Jamaica and the Caribbean. And then what we do is we develop programs, products, services and all those kind of stuff and then we um, educate about the Jamaican population, especially we mostly focus upon youth and women. I will try to equip them and empower them with the knowledge they need so they could start the stuff like this. Okay, cool. So you have any background in farming? I know you're a Chilani man. Yeah, Chilani. And then you moved to Manchester. Yeah, yeah, all over. <laughs> they're all <laughs> over. They're firing. Yeah, we moved from, from Chilani. We migrated to the US. We yeah, go to high school there for a little bit. And university in the US. And then I um, migrated back to Jamaica. Um, I was running trucks. Um, chain in Jamaica with um, Brissas Chuck Club, with um, UCM Boat and Ewan Blake and all of them. Okay. And, um, then I went back to the US to finish up my studying and to finish up my college and that's when the, um, the whole idea of um, Jamaica farming how can I help um, come about and I stand and then I um, started dipping into the whole hydroponics thing and then while I was um, researching farming um, I stumbled upon the hydroponics and I just um, dip into it I um, okay. just fascinated about it that I'm like this is really what Jamaica want. So I just dive into it and then we start um, uh, research other country that's doing it, researching different type of it. And we just um, basically like you know jumping on a swimming pool. And you swim your way and I and yeah. I swim away and figure it out. Yeah cause basically. And this you really look like you, you figured it out because based on what I see here and I realize that you have strawberry. Mm -hmm. Is strawberry one of your main focus area and and follow up question how mm -hmm. hard it is to grow strawberry line naturally without the hydroponic system in Manchester? Well, Manchester is perfect weather as it related to um, growing strawberries. Um, the temperature really cool because um, strawberry like cool temperature, like cool, day, cool um, nights and, and also like warm days as well. So Manchester is like perfect place to grow strawberries. Um, our main focus um, as, the, as it related to crop is um, strawberries. We want to um, mass produce um, um, the strawberries. Okay. We want to mass produce the strawberries. But what happened is that um, when we first started out, over, over here, what we started out with the um, intention of us producing crop and um, supplying the market in Jamaica. But um, what I found out that is um, when I'm doing the research through the, and I get deeper into the agriculture, is like, our sector really 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 struggling and need help and um, our farmers them um, really 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 need help so I said instead of me um, just producing a whole bunch of crap by myself I'm gonna try to um, assist the farmers them so all of us could um, grow together so based on what you have been doing over the years 
Have you seen a lot of person gravitating towards it? Yeah man, a lot of people um, gravitating towards it. Um, especially the younger um, people. Like the upcoming new farmers that's coming in the sector. Most of them now go to the old um, traditional ways. They're trying to do the hydroponics. And most of them come check me. I mean, give them as much knowledge as possible and help them as, as best as possible that I can to um, get started. Uh -huh. um, the, the, the idea behind the kids them coming is um, one to change the perception of farming to make farming seem fun, um, economical, profitable. And when they come and they see it and it's so easy and they participate and they get to see that, okay, then I could plant a whole bunch of lettuce and I still not get dirty, the nails them still clean and all the stuff and then I don't have to go in the bush to do no farming we can have a bigger farm at the side of my house, the back of my house so very so close and I don't have to about people to take it because now I can grow thousands of lettuce from one little piece of um, in the back of my yard and that encourage and change a lot of people in um, mind as it related to um, farming because most of our shy with people you know the hard labor that comes with it you know, so. yes, when it's just days are easy and clean way to do it they kind of gravitated towards this. The younger piece, person them really does. The best chance of Jamaica is actually, um, in my opinion, I think the best opportunity for Jamaica to come out of poverty and have national development is agriculture and a logistic hub, in my opinion. Those are the two best opportunities. Um, when people think of agriculture, um, they just think about planting the food and sell it back. Agriculture is so vast. From the servicing part to the um, uh, um, processing of food to the added value to the distribution, it's a, all of them areas that is broken. So the opportunity to do that for everybody. It's just because it just the mindset needs to change. And when people see the mindset change, like when they come here and they see that we're doing agriculture as an official business and it's clean agriculture, then the mindset starts to change because I see a lot of professional people come to me for. Um, Assistant. Air ceilings is $15. I have a wide variety of everything I can find. Um, we basically we want Jamaica to win. So we are making it easy for people to grow. You understand? Yes. So um, what we do now we find ways of making things cheap. You understand? So um, if Only we, we supply yeah, can we supply the, the farm as well and see the farms that we build? We supply them as well now. We supply the um, smaller versions that they could plant food at the home. Okay. Planting like this, uh, this is how easy it is to plant. That's it. Basically, the labor cost is just so low because uh, you're, not doing, you're not doing much. It's a young lady. Recently graduated high school, manager farm. I don't even be on the farm much. And she, uh, that's how I work right here. See there? That's just the root. And you see the good thing about it now? They can diagnose the root and tell if a plant is healthy or not. Because uh, that's one of the benefits of hydroponics. Because here, you know, uh, when the root's white, mm -hmm. the plant's healthy. Okay. Yeah, but say if the root's not no white, if the root's dark in a color, something will go on. But in the hydroponics, you can easily just take it out and put it back. The plant is not dead. So we can eventually move this plant go anywhere more and move it. Go. And if this was a strawberry plant, we could have just, or any plant matter of fact, we could have just put it in one cup of water and send it to give a, 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 a young lady or somebody um, who important or whatever and say, look here baby, live strawberry you're getting now with the plant. <laughs> right, right, right. You understand? Right, yeah. You're one of the plant dicks and just still alive. See me? Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So you really need dirt for grow plants again. And technology passed that long time. Alright. Oh so you have a constant run, running oh, of water. Yeah, man. Going straight down water and everything. Uh, okay. So this water is recycled, right? Everything is recycled back all our water. Uh -huh. We're trying to make um farm we're trying to be efficient as possible. Okay. But the thing is you know, most of what you say here so is a bill for a long time. This. Stangerine. Okay. And it's a concept you now, it's just basically for sure so you can design, you can have grow food anywhere you can use it as a decoration in, on your side of your fence or your front of your yard anywhere. See you know, all kinds of different things. Oh so the whole concept behind this is that you can, you can grow your food anywhere. Basically, because this you know, 
a man can have this a tree here and the side and yard he can use a whole for jump to decorate the house front with the pencil line he can put it anyway and my grow food a man of a restaurant he can put one there and it will grow food same way and use a decoration same way see there the banana this are the tangerine the tangerine yeah. this are uh -huh. the uh, sweet pepper and people respect your crap them around here because I see a sweet pepper up on the side of the road, see that? Look man, we know no situation look. Um, me believe that the best security is relationship. You understand? So I have a good relationship with the people in the community and I actually started a youth club in the community. So I'm operating a youth club. Sebi's Youth Youth Club with up on TikTok. And they can go follow me. Sebi's Youth Youth Club on TikTok. And, thing, and, and, and if anybody else has a youth club and they want to come, come, come participate in what we are doing and play a game against we, and they can come. And they can invite us and we come and phone a place to it. This is community development. We yeah, love man. this. So, um, so we, we pretty much all I use in the community is my security, and then parents not allow nobody to match the place. Alright, that's done. So, um, it's a standerine. It can be a standerine. The people get the tree here in uh, October, and then in a uh, chance plant it in uh, um, January. Oh. And now, uh, September, yeah, standerine. Rosemary, basil. Yeah. 